Hello there, and today I'm going to be showing you a video of how to make a Visual Basic Auto Mouse Clicker. This is quite simple. All we need to do is make a DLL which uses uh, the mouse, and we need to make a decoder so that it'll decode a normal text file into the Visual Basic. First, what you need to do is make a new project, uh, name it whatever you want. And now let's start working on it. First, what we want to do is make five buttons. So make one button and then copy it multiple times. One, two, three, four, five. And that is six. Then we need to scroll it down. Let's center it. Then you need to make two text files, text boxes I mean, and inside of them we need to write times and milliseconds. So in the first one we write times I mean milliseconds And this one we write times, okay? Come down. Another one we write milliseconds. Then we change the name of this one to code. Play. open save and reset <clears throat> there now let's uh, first start with the mouse DLL what you need to do is go to the solution explorer right click Add a, uh, add a new class, that's basically a DLL, and call it mouse. Now, you will need to copy this because it's quite stupid. So first you need to write down imports uh, Windows Forms, then you need to write imports system drawing, then public class, public declare sub mouse event lib uh, quotation marks, username 32, close quotation marks, alias, uh, open quotation marks, mouse event, close quotation marks, open bracket, Bival DW flags as long Bival DX as long Bival DY as long Bival C buttons as long Bival DW extra info as long Then public const all uh, ex uh, all uh, capital letters, mouse event f underscore mouse button equals and ampersand h2, that'll be the left button down, then public const mouse event f left up equals h, no, ampersand h, left button, uh, which will be left button up, public const right button down therefore and therefore you get it and then for each one you just cut, uh, write down mouse event mouse if down whatever and then you make a public shared sub with it now uh, that that's out of the way we need to make the decoder so what we need to do is go to
go to the but button to click and then write down we're gonna make the decoder so public sub decoder open the bracket the by valve input a string close bracket dim string one as string dim int as integer equals zero dim point one as point basically the input is gonna be string one is gonna be compiled into a word uh, is gonna find it and uh, make it into a word which will then be either a, a point or a boolean or a stuff or things or the button then what you want to do is write down for each segment seg as string in input this basically breaks uh, the input into all of the characters and then it becomes this character. Segment becomes the character that's inside of this and loops until all the characters have become segment. So now select case segment. This will find the segments. Case open bracket uh, open quotations uh, comma close quotations that's the thing that's gonna find and change the decoder into something else and then integer plus one depending on what the integer is it's gonna change the uh, points and the button clicks and uh, the strings now case one case select case int Case one point dot x equals string one string equals nothing case two point one dot y equals string one string one e equals nothing case three will be the button so we need to make a new array of button so let's make three new arrays they're gonna be called mouse point comma mouse button comma down these things will go inside of uh, our program and it will actually become uh, the things that the program does as array list Oh yeah, I forgot one thing inside of the case two. Mouse point
equals point one. Sorry. Add point one. And then point one equals nothing. Then Case three mouse button dot add string one string one equals nothing case four down add String one. String one equals nothing. Integer int equals zero. Then string one plus equals segment. Basically, what this does is it adds segment to string one. That's all it does. And then if segment sees a comma, then it will add one integer. And because integer equals zero, string one will become point one. So far, so uh, uh, as long as it works, it will go down the line until case four. And it turns back into zero and reloops for the next uh, part. So therefore, it will be able to read text like this and convert it back into uh, Visual Basic, as you see. Now. Back to button 2, here we need to actually add the input, so public input as string dim play as ubolin then int as integer now this will check if it's playing this is going to be the input which is going to be uh, brought from the other form which is going to be see through and that's why it's a public so that other forms can use it now let's move on to part b uh, to the button 2 which is play which is decoder input so it's going to decode this input and then then click as new no just as click Damn it, that's new click. Then times equals text box one dot text do until times equals text box one. Oh, 
Oops, this is wrong. As integer. Dot text. Now we need to change the integer into zero. Then do until integer equals mouse mouse button. Now do until int equals mouse button dot count. Basically, what these two lines do. Uh, as you know that we're going to put times here and times is just a looping session uh, and we're gonna add the times over and over until it becomes the uh, number in the text box and we need to do this until the count because that's how many things there are inside of the, the mouse uh, button so let's say that there are 10 mouse button the uh, things that we the decoder added so just so we'll keep on looping and looping and looping and looping until the integer equals 10 let's move on so let's first change the position to the right position so uh, the mo right mouse position then windows dot forms dot cursor dot position equals new point mouse point open bracket integer close bracket close bracket then copy this then write down here x comma then right down here Y. That's it. That should change the uh, mouse position. So let's see. Oh, there's nothing to add, so not yet. Not if we change the code a little bit. If we put here, let's say 100, comma, 100, comma. Let's see what happens. Left, comma, down, comma. Yeah, so right now it's not working. <laughs> Right here, we forgot to do something. Here, it's supposed to be the select case else string plus suggestion segment. Oh, yeah, we forgot to change this to times. So 10. There you go, change the, itself to here. Ten times. But since uh, it never gets to ten, ten times, it will never stop. So, so don't do what I just did. Now let's continue. with uh, some really confusing shit. I'm just gonna copy and paste this because it's quite confusing. Now here after the changing position we need to go select mouse integer case left select case down open bracket int case true click dot left down case false 
click left up and case case right case select down and case true click dot right down case false click right up then you need to write down here integer plus one plus equals one then threading dot thread dot sleep text box two I think yeah this basically will make the computer sleep for two seconds and then restart it working and this will just change the integer so let's see if this works let's move this over here and press play and it messes up again so 10 times for each 10 milliseconds 100 milliseconds play oh this has to be true or, or false So play. You'll get this error because this only works with a build application. To build it, you just right click and press build, but you have to save it in the right place first. Now that we have finished th that part, we need to make it the. Uh, when it's finished, we need to go to me.focus. So that it will show the form again, and then message box, done. Now we're almost done on the first box, on the first frame, so now let's go to open. This is quite easy. All we need to do is make a open file dialog. The way we do that is write down dim open as new open file dialog. If open dot show equals okay then then we we need to write uh, read all the things inside of it there's a special io which actually reads it for you which is dim reader as new io stream reader open dot file name this is pretty simple if the file dialog is okay then it will make a reader with the file name inside of it then it will read what is inside of it the way we do that is write down integer no input since the input is the thing that it needs to be read it's the code which is needs to be decoded so input equals reader dot read to end then reader dot close which will just close the file down now let's test this out let's first remove this part so that it wouldn't go all mental on us and click open and let's try out our test and then play and once again we have made the same mistake well I have maybe you haven't because you're awesome like that 
Uh, no. Play. What is happening? This is weird. That was really weird. I'm sorry. What happened there? Oh, I'm stupid. We forgot to write down the times thing. So, 10 times each 100 milliseconds open test the text. I'll play. And I think you get it. <laughs> it works, okay? Uh, now let's move on to the save function. Basically, this is the same. And here it is. All that, uh, that is different is that it's now a save file dialog. Uh, it writes, uh, instead of read, it writes, and it's a stream writer. And it writes in the input, and then it closes. That's about it. Then for the reset, all we need to do is just return everything to their original positions. So, input equals nothing, mouse button equals new array, a list, uh, mouse point equals new array list, down equals new array list. Now we have to make a new form, right click, add, user form, bound to bound bound, uh, add, uh, Okay. Now we need to have the load, so me dot this will change to this to uh it'll make the form disappear, so me dot back color equals red me dot transparency key equals red. Now let's go here and remove the Thing about Jake, uh, that form border style into none, which will make it fully disappear. And then where it says transparency key, uh, write down nothing at all. Uh, you need to change window state to maximized, maximized prime. Okay, so, oh yeah, for here, I forgot to, about the code, code, form, do not show, that's it. Uh, now, what we need to do is go to the form to events, and write down, mouse, up, then, mouse down and then key down now inside of the key down write down if e key code dot s then since this is a boolean uh, you don't have to write true or false if it's just like this this means it's true if there's a not in front of it, 
that means it's false. If it's not this, then it's then do whatever it says inside of the if function. If it is on, then yeah. So then, now we want to write down dim input two as integer. Uh, I mean as string equals nothing. Form one input equals form two. Uh, no, that's input two. And then me close. Then t it's time for the most annoying part of all. <sighs> the co and encoder part, which really ticks me off. It's a really long line of code, which basically tells the position, and if the mouse is down, if the mouse is up and all that poop. Basically, do this with one line and then change the things that are needed. So, if e.button equals windows, forms, buttons, mouse buttons, left, then input to plus equals windows, forms, cursor, dot x, plus, comma, uh, I mean, that's in, uh, no, not plus, uh, and, in quotations, comma, and, Windows forms, uh, cursor, position, Y, and, open quotations, comma, close quotations, and, open quotations to left, close quotations right, uh, no right, just quote, comma, and true comma. And do that for the two of them, just changing from uh, left to right, and then copy it, and then to mouse that up, you go just put it down and change this to false. And that's it. You have made your own clicker majigger thingy majigger. Now let's uh, let us save it. Save all. Windows application one. Such a wonderful name. Let's open it. Oh yeah, inside of here. Uh, you have to go to solution and then build. There. Then release, then double click, then times 10 milliseconds, 10 code, 1, 2, 3, 4, press S to stop it, then play. I'll play that 10 times and that's it. You see, wasn't that easy? Now let's have some fun with this. Let us draw a picture 10 times the, of the thingamajigger moving. Okay, so it's going to be alternating through different colors, then drawing as well. Oh my god, you feel so honored, aren't, don't you? Now, just press code, draw something, then move the form a little bit, press S, then move this out of the way, and press play. Something stupid will happen because you're stupid. And you see that it actually works. And it actually draws instead of uh, like lines and stuff like one point, then another point, then another point, then another point. Like in my old one. Thank you for watching this very long tutorial, which has been about 30 minutes. If you watched this, you're awesome. If you didn't, then you didn't see this part. So you suck. Thank you.